Hi and welcome to Wilson Marine. My name is Doug Galaro. I'm going to be going over your boat today. So if you want to take a journey with me onto the back side of the boat here. Starting off in the back, you lift up on your lever here. This opens up your rear hatch. Gives you a full access to uh, storage. You also have a side door here that opens up so you can go all the way inside. You have all kinds of storage space. All right, on the captain's chair, this moves back and forth, swivel side to side. All those levers are on the bottom down here. Up on the helm, you have your throttle. There is no trigger on the throttle. You simply grab, push it into gear, forward, back to neutral or down for reverse. On the side of the switch, or the, the throttle, you have your trim, which raises and lowers the engine. There's a gauge on the dash that shows you when the key is on, where the engine in the back is according to the needle. Also on the dash, you have your voltmeter, RPM, and a fuel gauge. Inside the RPM, down on the bottom in the digital, is an hour meter. It tells you your hours of operation, which will also help with uh, main maintenance on the engine. So that way you know where you're at and when to bring it in to have it serviced. On the steering wheel, on the very bottom down here, there is a little lever. If you push it forward towards the front of the boat, you can now tilt the steering wheel and have it locked wherever you want that for the best comfort. Down on the stereo, slide the lid open, and that gives you access to the stereo. On the side over here, there is a button that says stereo. Flip this switch up. This now gives you power to the stereo. All right, when you're done, you put, simply flip the switch down. The stereo is off. There's an uh, extra accessory switch on here. You can have uh, something else wired into that. Next switch over is for the dock lights in the front. Dock lights are basically your headlights only to be used when you are coming into your dock. You cannot run with these dock lights on in open water. Next switch is your navigation switch. If you go from the middle to the up position, that turns on the front and the rear. Back to middle is off, and if you go down, that turns on just the stern light or the dock light on the rear on top of the bimini. Back to middle is off, and then the last red switch here for horn. In your Hummingbird package, you'll have your manual for this. <laughs> this is wired separately, so simply pressing and holding the power button, turns the screen on, and from there, Read the instructions in your manual and that will give you all the operation on that. Simply hold it again until it shuts down and the screen goes blank. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on to the front side of the helm, you have a storage compartment here. You lift this lid up from the trigger. You can put drinks, ice in here and it has a drain plug. Simply pull that out and it will drain right out the bottom side of the boat. Close the lid, relatches down. Moving on in front of the helm, your front seat here lifts up and you have all kinds of storage down below that. You have storage all the way around the front side of the boat under each individual seat. You have your front door here. You lift up on the door, that swings it open. Same thing coming back, you lift it up, and then slide it down, that locks it in place. Again, same storage on this side as on this side. You have a side door here, it's the same operation, lift it to operate it. Underneath this seat here, if you lift this one up, you have your fire extinguisher which is mounted down inside of there.
You have more storage underneath these seats here, underneath the rear seat. You lift this one up, that is where the cranking battery is located. In the middle of the floor you have your table. Basic operation is simply lift up, the table separates, lift up on the rod, and it also comes out as well. Okay, moving on to the back side. <clears throat> on the motor, we have a 90 Mercury two stroke. Four on stroke. the side. Oh, four stroke, excuse me, four stroke. <clears throat> on the four stroke, we have a switch on the side that raises and lowers the engine, as well as on the throttle. On the back side, Simply flip the switch 180 degrees to unlock the front. And there's a handle on the very front of the motor. Pull this one out towards the front of the boat. And that swings out 90 degrees. That unlocks the hood from the engine. And simply lift straight up. And that gives you access to the inside the engine. On the side here, you have your fuel filter. Moving along to the back is where all the spark plugs are underneath the caps. On top in the yellow is your oil fill. Moving around to the other side here, it's all your major electronics. The oil filter here with the black, and then the dipstick with a yellow handle here to pull out to check the oil level itself operates just like your car. Make sure that when you check the oil level that the engine is fully horizontal, not on an angle or not up all the way. Otherwise you will not get an accurate reading. Other than that, on the engine, if you have low water pressure, low oil pressure, overheating, that will send an alarm onto the dash and alert you to any uh, problems or issues with the engine. Putting the cover back on. We drop her right on down. Twist the handle 90 degrees in the front. Come to the back side, make sure you pull it down. Twist your handle 180 degrees. That locks it in. When you're in travel with the boat, if you have this on a trailer, you're going to want to make sure that this is fully trimmed up. On the other side of the engine here, there's a little knob right here that's for uh, travel position. So you push in, twist it. That's going to come up. And you simply take the uh, trim switch on the side of the motor, come down right till it touches this, and that is your travel position. For any reason the hydraulic on here fails or leaks, this will keep this from drifting down in travel and hitting the bottom skeg on the road. <clears throat> Alrighty, moving on, this is the transducer down here. This is where the fish finder sends out its signal for the depth and also picks up for the temperature of the water at the surface. Moving around to the side, this is your fuel cap. There's a little button on the bottom, you push the button up. Cap flips up, now you have access for your fuel. It's recommended just regular 87 octane. Once you're done fueling, simply bring the cap back down, push it in until it clicks, now it is locked in place. Moving along the side of the boat. On the port side, the left side of the boat, this is your navigation red light. That's going to come on when it is dark out in the morning or in the evening, an hour before sunrise and an hour after sunset. You have a front cleat up here to tie off an anchor to. Moving around to the front, you have two dock lights mounted inside the uh, rail. Those are recessed. Again, those can only be used when you're coming into your dock or leaving the dock in the evening time so you can see where everything's at in the front side of the boat. 
Moving around to the side is your other cleat and your green navigation on your starboard side. Moving on to the side here on the outside, this is where the horn sounds out. It has a little screen on in there to help keep water from get, uh, getting access to the horn itself. Wires on here, this goes up to the bimini, it gives the stern light your power. So this has to be plugged in at all times. Moving on to the back. When the boat is up high enough or in the water, you have a three-step ladder. Simply unsnap the button here, the ladder drops down all the way and gives you full access to the back from the water or if it's on a trailer. Simply bring the ladder back up, snap it back into place, and now you're ready for travel on the water or the trailer. Well, I have gone through the entire boat from front to back. You are more than welcome to call us at any time and ask any questions. They will direct you to the right person to answer any and all questions that you do have. Congratulations on your new boat. Enjoy. All right, welcome back to Wilson Marine. My name is Doug. I'm going to be going through the uh, starting engine operation. On the uh, four-stroke outboards, you want to make sure that you drop the engine all the way down. Make sure that you take the latch on here for travel off. Drop the motor all the way down. Alrighty, basically you're a good indication of where you're at if you don't have your trim gauge on is to look at the mercury symbol on the side. If that looks pretty level, then you are good. The cylinders are at the back of the head, so you want to make sure that you're down and level for all fuel to get to the back cylinders there when you fire your engine. Once your engine is all the way down, you come up to your key, simply turn to the on position, and then start it just like your car. That beep you heard, that is going to be your warning symbol or uh, signal if anything with the engine is wrong. Once you're all set there, simply turn the key. As you can see, the engine is now running and exhausting out from the very center of the propeller. On the outboard, you can see that you're uh, exhausting water out of the side hole. That is telling you that you are getting water from the intakes just in front of the propeller on the lower unit. It is getting pumped through the engine and then exhausted out the back. That helps to keep the engine cool during operation. All right, once your engine is running, you can then use your throttle at that point to move the boat forward and backwards. If you need to give the engine a little bit of throttle, there is a black button down on the side here. If you push that button in and hold, you can now push the throttle forward without engaging the, the shaft or the drive. Push it forward. That gives the engine throttle just as your car but if you were in park or neutral and you throttled up, that's going to give you that same effect on the engine. When you simply pull the throttle back to the neutral position, the black button pops out. And now if you go forward or backward, that now puts you into gear to run the uh, engine. When you are all done, you want to make sure that you're still down underwater with the uh, engine itself. Simply shut the engine off. Use your trim button on the side to raise the motor up out of the water. Once the engine is out of the water, you'll see the rest of the water draining out of it. You look down on the very bottom down here, the big flat plate, that is your cavitation plate. Any and all times, if I raise, lower this down, that cavitation plate, you want to have that, at least that, underwater when you're running. 
that your water pickups are below that, just in front of the propeller. So you want to make sure that you're always getting water pumping through the engine. Otherwise, you will burn the engine up and quite quickly. Once you are done at the end of the day, make sure you raise it up all the way out of the water. And you are set to go. Again, thanks for joining us. Enjoy your boat during the summer. Congratulations.